Well, good morning everybody. JT here, Serenity Farm Prepping. Just got done my morning workout. Did anybody catch Trump's uh, national address, general address speech thing yesterday? I caught bits and pieces. Uh, as you know, I'm not on the Trump train right now. I'm kind of following closely behind in case I want to grab the rail and, and, and jump on the caboose. But I don't trust anyone and there's still just too many things I can't come to grips with. Just blindly swallow like so many and... Uh, I mean, and I'm probably being hypocritical because in the end, I definitely cannot vote socialist communist. So uh, that's what it is. But he, he brought up two things specifically yesterday that really troubled me because uh, he didn't do anything about them the first time either. I know... All the cutards and everybody say that he did. Promises made, promises kept. But if you really look back, he really never fulfilled any of them. He did bits and pieces. Uh, it's like throwing you uh, the pizza crust while the box of pizza is sitting on the table. You never actually get the whole thing. <laughs> All right, so the first one was immigration and his ever continuing narrative of the biggest largest most beautiful deportation ever i know that's his thing right okay is he going to do that not a chance no what he'll probably do is uh Get rid of a few thousand really bad apples that they happen to catch. Maybe some terrorist types on the terror watch list. You know, that kind of stuff. Um, and we'll see that go on for a few months. They'll make a big deal every time they catch one or a handful. Uh, they might build a couple sections of the wall or at least look like they're building them. And there's going to be so much other stuff going on, either perpetrated by the Democrats or the Uniparty, that people will once again easily get distracted and forget all about it. Um, because he made the statement, I'll deport all the criminals first. Excuse me, self-anointed uh, savior, divinely chosen one, uh, daddy of the thing. Illegal means you're a criminal. I don't care how long you've been here. I don't care if you were born here. If your parents were illegal and you were born here, you're illegal. If you crossed here illegally 20, 30, 40, 10 years ago, I don't care. You're illegal. Every single person in this country who is here illegally is a criminal. Now, with that being said, I understand that there's criminal for having crossed the border. <coughs> Excuse me. And then criminal for being on the terror watch list, murdering, raping, pillaging, rioting, looting, burning, assaulting, all that good stuff. I get it. We need to prioritize, which is what he was saying, but why he was saying it is the issue that I have. I think it's a distraction. Get rid of a few high profile and somehow 30, 40 million ain't going nowhere. That's my worry. Now, if I was in charge of the border like maybe a czar, I would visit it. Um, 
and I've never been to Europe either. But as borders are, I would immediately shut it down, and if that requires putting armed people, uh, I would use the military, I would use the National Guard, I would use local enforcement where can, I would deputize thousands and they would be stationed on the border with authorization for anyone attempting to cross illegally. It's the way it is. I would close it for three years, no exceptions. During that three year time period, every single illegal in this country, regardless if you're an anchor baby or how long you've been here, you're gone. You're leaving. Tough. You're a criminal. During that three years of closure, the walls being built, guard stations would be put on that wall. They don't have to be every 10 feet. There's very good effective ranges, if you know what I'm talking about. You could use drones. You could use electricity. You could use many, many different options to keep it patrolled. But if everyone attempting to cross does not know without a doubt in their little brains that if they try to cross, it won't matter. You got to say it, you got to mean it, and then you got to do it. All right. So during this three-year closure period, Said illegals, you will accumulate enough money to support yourself fully for one year. That includes room, board, housing, medical, food, everything. You will be provided nothing in this country. You must speak the English, and it is your first language. I don't expect you to give up. Espanol or whatever other language you speak, but you must speak English proficiently. You will have a one year period if allowed to re enter. There's no guarantee. Just because you've been here for 30 years, don't mean you're automatically going to be green lighted when we uh, reopen that front door. Uh uh. So within one year, you must have a job that pays your way. Now, you're not being granted citizenship when you come back in. You are being granted the privilege to come back here and apply. If at any time you lose your job, you will not go on the taxpayer T. We got enough American moochers doing that. You will be kindly escorted back whence you came. So you get enough money to come back. And that you know, sucks to be you. But it's my country, not yours. During this one year time period, no family will be allowed to come in. You will be allowed to leave and visit them and come back. But none will be allowed to come here because we know how that ends, okay? Now, back to Trump and his biggest, most beautiful deportation efforts. If he wants to get rid of a bunch and he immediately shuts off all taxpayer-funded free shit, okay? We know who the illegals are. We know who the American moochers are. If you cut off the EBT, the free housing, the free transportation, the free cell phones, the free food, the free Wi-Fi, the free everything, a lot of these illegals will likely self-deport. Now, the criminal ones won't because they're probably not doing all that shit. Anyway, they're funded by the Democrats. Okay, so you're going to get a lot of them to go. Then you got to notify all businesses 
in America that are currently using illegals for whatever reason. You know, the ones that jobs Americans won't do. And some of these businesses are trying to beat the ridiculous uh, governmental taxes, fees, workers' comp, uh, uh, the welfare payments, the health care, all that, blah, blah, blah. So they're using illegals. Okay? You've got 60 days, 90 days. Maybe you could make it six months if it's the middle of a growing season, whatever we got going. I'm open to a little bit of kindness. Okay? But as you're removing the illegals, Mandate that American welfare mooching, teat sucking folks, they're going to have to go start doing some of these jobs. And every dollar they make is coming off their EBT, their free Section 8 housing, their free rent, their free cell phone. Their free, that, that's just the way it is. You're going to go earn something. You're going to pay your fair share. All right, and there's other things that can be done, but that is a good start. He's not going to do it, of course. Okay, so it pisses me off. It really pisses me off when I drive through my local city bus station and I see 10, 20, 30 getting dropped off every day. Right across from the local government center where they just literally walk across the parking lot, 50 yards, into the building, and start getting all their free shit. The city closest to me is getting $1,000 per illegal that enters the city. And it just, that's per week, I believe. It's not per day, it's per week. I don't know what they're doing with it. I don't know where they're all staying. I avoid the city like the plague. And it's a small city, maybe 25,000 people. And it's estimated softly right now that there's approximately 5,000 illegals roaming the streets. Because that's what they're doing. They're roaming. You see them standing on street corners once in a while with signs. Apparently, if you go to the mall, it has a new odor in it as they're strolling up and down. How'd they get up to the mall? That's about two miles from where they're getting dropped off. Where are they staying? Where are they eating? Now you have churches and, and uh, NGOs that have caved in for bucks or maybe a threat of losing their tax-free status, whatever, that they are catering to these people. And that is a big problem. We have so many traitors in this country that are doing anything for a dollar and they're libtard socialists to begin with. And they don't care what happens to America. At least they don't care right now. They will when it all actually happens. But right now, it's greed. It's uh, self-survival, so they think. It's very frustrating. And I just want people to really, really understand that it's highly likely out of the estimated 50 million that are here, probably 10 to 15 of those are actual terrorists, people who hate this country. None of the illegals really want to assimilate. Don't even think that for a minute. Because if they did, they'd be speaking to English. Our border, our sovereignty, 
Unlike other nations, you see what's happening everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, here's what happens when guns are banned and illegal refugees are brought in. Europe brought in millions and millions of Muslims who hate white people. Most Europeans are white and Christian. So the Europeans gave up their guns without a whimper. We're the government. We'll protect you. Now they bring in millions and millions of illegal Muslims in every other freaking country. Now they're having a plethora of stabbings with knives and swords and machetes. And the residents are getting upset. Well, look in the mirror like I'm looking in because you're the one to blame. So the European officials who are feared for their own lives from the people have just come out with a very generous offer to all the people who own knives and swords and machetes which are the illegals. If you turn in your weapons we will give you you can't make this shit up we will give you a <laughs> It's funny, but it's very a one-year free subscription to Netflix. Well, I imagine the line goes out the building all the way around the corner and down the block for that. Where do I sign up? So what are they going to offer the dopes here as Camo Ho and socialist commie walls in the Dems reiterate over and over again that gun confiscation total gun confiscation is likely one of the very first things on the table should they cheat their way into a selection they're gonna go door to door some blue helmets some purple shirts which is a conglomeration of all sorts of foreign troops uh some treasonous uh people in this country and the illegal henchmen are americans going to just go oh you're going to protect me after everyone turns in their guns from all the illegals that are here already that you can't protect me from well why didn't you say so here you go bye now have a good day not so much I wonder how the Q-tards will react to that. Because everything's under control. It's all part of the plan. It's all being taken care of. Don't you worry. Yeah. Well, I already know how it's going to go if someone comes up my driveway. Nope. Nope. And did I mention nope? All right. I just have so many reservations about Trump. I, I know exactly where the Democrats stand. So as much as I have reservations about Trump, if we get to the election, like I said, I'm a hypocrite probably, I will probably have to vote for him because I'm not, not going to vote and I'm certainly not going to vote Democrat. And... There's a lot of people in my situation that believe all we're doing is voting for the lesser of two evils, which one is a instantaneous collapse full of evil, and the other one is the frog in the pot of boiling water evil. Either way. Um... Oh, and Trump wants to take the guns from the bad people. I thought they didn't have any. Yeah, there's two, and, it, and it, yeah, take guns, just you, no, no. Ah, okay, maybe I shouldn't do this right after a workout. <laughs> all right, that's all I got for now. JT, signing off.